Greetings from the North Dakota University System. My name is Lisa Johnson. I serve as Vice Chancellor of Academic and Student Affairs for the North Dakota University System, and I'd like to introduce the North Dakota team to the group today. Uh, joining us from the University of North Dakota is Jackson Harper, who serves as the OER librarian. And my colleague, Claire Gunwall, who serves as the Director of Academic Affairs for the North Dakota University System, located in Bismarck, North Dakota. The North Dakota University System is comprised of 11 colleges and university, all of which uh, participate in the OER initiatives. Uh, a lot of our statewide initiatives also encompass private and tribal colleges in the state and across the state as well. Open educational resources are certainly a priority among the um, colleges and universities of the North Dakota University System and that of the State Board of Higher Education. Um, one of the things that we have really strove uh, to accomplish is to work closely with our North Dakota Student Association to promote open educational resources for textbooks for students in the North Dakota University System. And I'm surprised at the extent to which we learn students literally search and select courses uh, based on the availability of OER. And for that reason, it's important to us that we provide access to students and the ability to search for courses uh, within our student information system. And Claire will talk about that a little bit in our um, accomplishments and next steps as well. Open education resources is also mentioned in our strategic plan uh, within the university system under a uh, category or section that we call maximizing the strengths of a unified system and that the university uh, system or the courses uh, that have been identified for open educational resources are monitored by the board. And Claire will talk about that in terms of some of our goals and our continued efforts in that regard. And then lastly, um, as just a recent accomplishment, has been the development of a new math pathway option, a new system-wide uh, course titled Mathematics and Society, in which uh, was developed using open educational resources and collectively developed uh, with representation from math faculty from across the system in responding to new uh, needs and a request for a math that might be more inclusive of several components of statistics, uh, college algebra, um, and financial literacy that has been uh, requested by numerous um, constituents from across the state. With that, I will turn it over to Claire to talk briefly about recent accomplishments uh, within the North Dakota University system and some of the next big things planned. And then finally, uh, to Jackson to talk about ways in which MEC might be able to assist us. Claire? Thanks, Lisa. First, I'd like to provide some information about the recent accomplishments within the North Dakota University system office. So we awarded around $96,000 to support expansions of OERs within the North Dakota universities to approximately 50 faculty in May of 2013. Those faculty are working on those OER developments uh, this, this fall they did, as well as coming this spring. Um, the North Dakota University Institutions Registrars also assisted with the implementation of adding OER course attributes uh, within the student information system to identify those courses that are offered as low cost or no, co no cost to the students. The State Board of Higher Education supports the development of OERs uh, by supporting students by reducing the student debt and enhancing their learning experience uh, within the classroom. A dashboard was developed to monitor and adopt uh, of the adoption of the OERs throughout the North Dakota University System Office. Um, the next thing things for our, our area is we are planning on doing a North Dakota OER summit with the envisions to offering training sessions for faculty on how to integrate OER materials into their courses effectively to encourage more instructors to adopt OERs. This is a great opportunity for us to provide training to staff on how to identify courses that are offered as OER textbooks. And lastly, we'd like to engage with our students, faculty, and staff to promote OER courses that are available at our institutions within the North Dakota University system. Jackson, I'll turn it over to you and ways that we can provide, uh, a way MHEC could provide support to the North Dakota University system office. Thanks, Claire. Um, a few of the ways that MHEC could help in the U.S. as well as all of the faculty and OER advocates who are part of the system. Uh, one of those ways would be by providing advanced resources and webinars for faculty who integrate, edit, and develop OER textbooks for students. Uh, any tool that can help 
faculty or advocates for faculty engaged in OER like myself. It helps them better understand how to incorporate OER into the classroom would be very much appreciated. Likewise, we also would like funding to support faculty and promote OER from OERs to students. Anything that helps or encourages faculty to take the time to develop OER or take the plunge and maybe even develop more elaborate curricula that really embeds open education practices into their coursework um, would be very useful. And finally, for more on the kind of advocate, librarian, administrative side, standardization and centralization of cost saving calculations for both NDUS and other states and systems. Um, speaking as someone who is often um, engaged in recording or in gathering data on cost savings related to OER, having a standard across state um, system for determining what counts as a cost savings related to OER will be very useful in both internal internal management and, and engagement with with administrators um, about the benefits of the OER, but also make it more easy to compare programs in different contexts. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you, Claire, for providing that background information as we all prepare to sort of put a pause on all the other competing activities and initiatives that go on within our portfolio of responsibilities. And we look forward to joining everyone in January to just further uh, advance our work and our collective work in advancing open educational resources across the US. Thank you.